Okay, so I'm taking another crack at the um, the uh, 2440 just to see if um, I can determine whether or not it is actually the uh, the clocks or if it's some um, some surrounding componentry to the CCD slash clocks or whether or not it is the actual CCDs and if I have to try and order um, a pair of those. It's a, it's a little alarming that both of them have gone at the same time because I get the errors on all of them, but it also might mean that I'm just not doing the uh, calibration properly. But anyways, um, I wanted to check a few things um, and as, as is suggested in the, um, in the service manual. So one of the things they suggest is to check the CD, CD clocks. So we have to check for a particular waveform at the collector um, of Q450 and Q460. 450 is there, 460 is hiding under here. And I'll uh, take a little um, shot of the waveform um, when, I, when, I, when I take it. Ow. Ow. Okay, don't touch the fan when it's running because it's alarming. Now, and it's the waveform that I'm getting, which is, okay, so I've got five microseconds, and we're getting one, two, yeah. That is what the waveform is supposed to look like, and so uh, that's on Q460, and on Q450, I get the same waveform. So, Q450 and Q460, I have the correct waveforms at their base, or sorry, at their collector. So now I move on to checking if the, um, the uh, 2356 and uh, uh, R470, which is one of these, I think it's this resistor array right here, the short one. Uh, let me just check the... And then there should be a capacitor. Yeah, R470 is the one that's closest to the CCD. So I need to check the um, waveforms at each of the pins on that resistor array. And that's up next. Okay, now this is a little tricky because you have to get both hands in here to um, examine these waveforms on the resistor. And so yes, that is looking at 68 and 69, I believe. Yeah, and those are offset by half a cycle for beginning and falling clock edge, or um, uh, trace edge. And then we should also look at, oh, sorry, that first two were 69 and 70. And then there was 72 and 71 should be short. Yeah. Okay, so having looked at those waveforms, um, it looks like the CCD clocks are fine. Like there's um, the waveforms that the collectors of Q450 and Q460 compare well to the illustration 67. Um, so that, um, that means, uh, that, uh, we've got good clocks there. If the clocks are running correctly at the, at those collectors and it says to check for pins two, three, five, six, and seven of R470, um, and that is by comparing pins two, three, four, five to waveform 68 through 71. And they all look fine too. If not present there, trouble, if they're okay, find the open. Now, I'm not sure what the heck they mean by find the open. Does that mean that there's an open circuit somewhere and the, and the clocks aren't, um, aren't connecting? I guess that's possible. So, I mean, the power supply did fail. There could have been a spike, might have blown something, but I didn't see any bad resistors. So what I'm gonna try and do first is run a self-cal and then I'm going to a, run a, um, and then I'll see what I get, so. Let's just see what we get. Uh, Cal Diagnostics, self Cal, running. And we'll see what we get. Because um, that's peculiar. So find the open. 
it's like perhaps they could have been a little more helpful with that. I don't know. Maybe. No. Two. One clicky relay. I really have a suspicion that I'm not doing the external calibration correctly. But possibly it's something else, I don't know. Hardware problem, C service manual. Yeah, that's that's where we usually get to. Try running it again. Some people say you run it a few times and it can actually So still no joy. The uh, multiple times that I tried to self cal it didn't do anything. So um, I think what I've got is bad CCDs. Even though the troubleshooting procedures didn't lead me there, um, I trust other people. And I think this is what Simon meant when he said that at higher um, sampling frequencies, you get noise. And so below 100 microseconds, um, or sorry, above 100 microseconds, so like one millisecond or half a millisecond or 0.2 milliseconds, 100 micro. But then once you get to less than 100 microseconds, 50 microseconds, and we get this kind of weirdness. And the other thing that I noticed is that the um, calibration port or the calibration uh, changes depending on what on what uh, what you've got for um, a time time division. So that's interesting. Anyways, that's enough for tonight on this. I have tried a few things. I did not get any farther. Um, but um, yeah, thanks for watching.